Hello friends, welcome to the Beyond 20's YouTube channel. My name is Neelam Patel. I am a solution consultant at Beyond 20. In today's video, we will talk about how to add a user or members to the group. So uh, let's say uh, let's take a scenario. Why do we need to add members to the group? So in ServiceNow, it is the best practice to create a group and add uh, the members to that group who works for that group and then assign the roles to that group. So we don't have to create a role or um, individually for the user or for member so let's say for example uh, we have an assignment group uh, so what we can do is add a team members who would work on the scrum stories and task or uh, to the assignment group so for that what we can do is we can create a scrum group and for that the role requirement will be scrum master or scrum admin so only users with the scrum user role can be added to that agile group in this scenario but in our video today we will add a member to the existing group and for that we just need the admin uh, privileges so let's see uh, uh, how to add a user in the group so for that let's first type groups in left navigation and then under user administration we'll click on the groups once we are uh, here uh, in the list view of the groups uh, we see the test user group that we have created in the previous video so let's open that group and we will assign a group members to this group so let's click on this group members tab and then uh, we'll click on edit and we will be seeing the list of the users in the system so in this test user group let's add the test users that we created in the previous video so we have three test users test user one uh, test user test user one test user two so we will add all three users to this group so let's bring them on the right hand side uh, in the slush bucket and hit save so now we have three uh, users uh, added to this group so now we have three group members in our test user group so let's click on update now let's check if those members have been added or not so click on the group again and we are seeing all three members in this group so this is how we add group members to the existing group in our next video we will see how to add roles how to assign roles to the groups so we'll see you in next video till then bye take care